As an NFL kicker, there's a ton of pressure. I pride myself on the hard work. The atmosphere in Arrowhead Stadium is unbelievable. Once I'm in the situation, it's just focusing in and locking in and blocking out everything. I'd say as a young kid, I grew up a soccer fan, but then slowly the, the love for football, you know, kept increasing. When I started playing in high school, my goal was definitely to get to the NFL. So I got about four or five Division I scholarship offers. I'm so glad I became a Yellow Jacket. There's a lot of great memories. Butker, straight, and nails it! We were playing Georgia in Athens, and it was a 53-yard field goal to go to overtime, and then we later won the game in overtime. He has been clutch all year. So I grew up Catholic. We would go to Mass every Sunday, but I was probably only Christian in name. I started questioning, is this real? Why are we doing this? I just had a lot of questions, and I don't know how firmly I believed in, in Jesus. And, uh, and then this, this kid showed up, and Grant came into my life and introduced me to all these truths of the Catholic faith. I started football second grade, loved football. Yeah, you see these guys playing, you're like, I want to be like them. We were doing something called Inside Drill. They called him the Nigerian Nightmare, Fumba Kamalu, and he just ate my lunch. My head, it was like, you know, a smack, like a whip. The nurses came up. Apparently the look on her face was, you might want to say goodbye to your son. What they did is they just kind of cut open right here. I, I should have been dead is kind of the, the end result, the diagnosis is. Uh, it was about less than 1% chance coming out like this. And then, uh, but I was like, where's God in all this kind of thing? God was using that in such a huge way to start to guide me to where he needed me to be. It's helped me a lot grow in my faith. So after I got hurt, you know, of course, I'm not a running back linebacker anymore. I was like, well, I want to be a punter. So I just went head first into punting, set my sights on playing at Georgia Tech. I was in the stadium kicking in the summer and like Grant just shows up and like he doesn't have a shirt on and he's like trying to take my footballs. So initially, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, I introduced myself as like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm Grant. I'm going to be able to try to walk on to the team. I got the vibe like, I don't care who you are. That was fine. Uh, I had a really good tryout again. And when I made it, it was, it was awesome. And, uh, but then, that, you know, the work started after that. Um, and so punters and kickers, we do our own routine. We have a lot of time. You know, we just started clicking and talking a lot, especially about Catholic stuff. With Grant's joy and his happiness, I could see that there was something that was driving him. And I was like, what is up with, with this kid? Uh, so slowly we, we started having conversations. I was asking him a lot of questions. He was this Catholic guy that was really proud to be Catholic. Grant got me to join the Knights. I, I really enjoyed the fraternal aspect of these Catholic men coming together. Part of bringing, you know, having him in the nights and stuff was the focus on Catholic fraternity. Good men searching for the truth and, and growing in holiness together. And we wouldn't be afraid to talk about the hard topics. There was just so much reason to the teachings of the faith and uh, went to confession and that was when it like really changed my life. And I remember junior year, I was working on being a better man. I just was like, you know, I, I could be a priest. It was a pretty terrifying yes, but I think God's asked me to take this step and I'm not gonna say no. It's very inspiring. Brand had the great opportunity to play senior year of college football, and he stepped away from that and said, you know, God, uh, I, I need to answer my vocation. I'm very thankful for Grant for bringing me back to the Catholic faith. That's completely changed my life because before that, my whole life was football, but my Catholic faith is more important. The football environment is very difficult. At the end of the day, if I'm working my hardest, his will is gonna, gonna prevail and um, I'm gonna be obedient to that no matter what happens. It's a beautiful thing to be able to see that growth. If I can do this as a priest, I mean, that'd be cool. I helped him, he helped me. That's the whole point of being a knight, to have a good Catholic fraternal relationship.